Line of credit, $32,000. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Credit Plug channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button as well as smash the subscribe button. Also, as a reminder to all viewers and subscribers, this is not financial advice. This is for informational purposes only. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over one of the easiest lines of credit to get approved for. So we're gonna be covering the American Express business line of credit. Previously, this was called the Cabbage business line of credit. So Cabbage was a FinTech company that offered a line of credit. Now, American Express bought them out I believe sometime in 2020 don't quote me on that and so it was branded separately so American Express has then just rebranded everything under the American Express umbrella so now you have the American Express business line of credit now one of the great things about this particular line of credit if you are an existing American Express business card holder is that you can get pre-approved now previously you know these were on two separate systems and actually when I got approved for uh, what was the cabbage business line of credit it was a hard inquiry even though I was an existing American Express member so just keep that in mind that's one of the data points that has changed now in terms of the qualifications in order for your application to be approved you must meet the minimum criteria including but not limited to you must be at least 18 years of age you must have started a business at least one year ago and you must have a FICO score of at least 640 at the time of application now as a lot of you guys know American Express does pull Experian as well as TransUnion now However, if you are an existing American Express member, you may be able to get this line of credit approved without any hard inquiry at all. So if you already have, let's say, a business charge card or a business credit card from American Express, you can get pre-approved without a hard inquiry. And the last requirement is that you must have an average monthly revenue of at least $3,000. So this is a major game changer because as a lot of you guys know, a lot of business lines of credit usually require that the business owner is generating at least $10,000 and gross monthly revenue, but $3,000 per month, that lowers the bar when you're comparing this against other business lines of credit. So you don't have to be generating the most revenue and you don't have to have the highest credit score at only a 640. That's pretty much fair credit. Now they have a quick application where literally you can get approved within minutes. So you will connect your business accounts to the application. They pull that data in and assess your business's cash flow. And they'll also be doing a credit check on your Experian and possibly possibly your TransUnion personal credit reports. The business line of credit offers flexible access so you can use what you need when you need it with no prepayment penalties. And they have term length options of six, 12 and 18 month loan terms with a corresponding fee. So pretty much how this particular line of credit works is that every time you make a draw, it's treated as a separate installment loan. And then when you repay that loan, it replenishes the overall line of credit. I'm gonna show you guys an example of what that actually entails. Now, here's a very important thing. So it says, if I'm not an existing American Express customer, is a full credit report or hard pull obtained from the Consumer Credit Bureau for application process? Yes, American Express obtains reports from consumer reporting agencies. American Express also may report your line of credit payment status to consumer credit reporting agencies in accordance with the loan agreement. Now, what I can tell you is that the American Express business line of credit does not actually actually report to the consumer credit reporting agencies. Now, maybe if you default on it, they may report it, but I can confirm I've had this for, you know, almost close to a year now or so, and it does not report on personal. But going back to this, yes, if you're not an existing American Express customer, they will do a hard pull on your personal credit report. All right, so here I am logged into my American Express business line of credit account. And so I have an available credit line of $32,100. Let's say for example, you know, you want to draw the entire amount. And so they give you a six month, 12 month and 18 month term. And so what I really do like about this is that they actually tell you what the total fee is. So it's a fixed fee. So you know exactly how much you're going to be paying. But but 
Let's just give like an example. Let's say you wanted to borrow 10,000 from the line of credit. And so it'll adjust based on how much you want to borrow. And so let's say you want to take it out for six months. It pretty much breaks down the total fee and then, you know, how much of the fee is being applied for each month. So in this scenario, this is like a six month term. You borrow uh, $10,000 and then it shows the amount, the principal amount that's being applied and then uh, the fee percentage. And so as you can see, the fees are kind of front loaded in the first couple of payments with the first two payments being uh, $350 and then the remaining four payments being just $50. And so you could see the amount due actually changes, but what's being applied to principal stays the same and the percentage of the fee is actually different. And so it just gives you a full transparent breakdown of how much it would cost. All right, so overall, I think the American Express business line of credit is actually one of the best business lines of credit available because you have a streamlined application. You really don't have to submit many documents at all because all they're gonna be doing is doing a hard credit pool if you're not an existing member and they will also connect to your banking data through Yodly. And so you don't really have to submit too much information in terms of like taxes, balance sheets or anything like that. So it's a pretty streamlined application and the credit and income requirements are much lower than what you would find at a lot of other business lines of credit. So you only need a 640 FICO. And again, they will be checking Experian and possibly TransUnion. And one of the great things is that you only need to be generating $3,000 in gross monthly revenue for your business compared to, you know, much higher amounts with other lenders like $10,000, $15,000 per month with the Amex business line of credit, it's only 3000. And if you're an existing Amex card holder on the business side, you could possibly get pre-approved. I also think that the fees are somewhat competitive when you're looking at a lot of these fintech business lines of credit. Now you might be paying lower fees. Let's say if you were to go to a commercial bank, like a Truist or PNC. However, you're going to be paying much less than if you were to go to Funbox or Bluevine or one of these other fintech lines of credit, you're going to be paying exorbitant interest. So overall, when it comes to the qualifications, the cost of funds and the streamlined application, I think the Amex business line of credit is one of the best business lines of credit out there. And if anyone is interested in applying, I've dropped a link down in the description of the video. That's all for today. Until next time, take it easy and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.